Hello everyone, welcome to the Foreigner Farming in the Philippines. Buddy, what are you doing in there, buddy? Hmm? Come on, buddy. And the rest of you stay out. Stay out. Yeah, buddy's probably been here since they were fed at 5 o'clock. Well, Tatai has the gates almost all finished, the fabrication of the gates almost finished, and he's going to be putting them in tomorrow. But Gabriel's crew, hi little red pig, hi little famous little red pig, how are you? Yeah. Uh, Gabriel's crew is out of materials to work tomorrow, so they're going to come by here and I'm going to use three of them to move the bamboo. Uh, we did make that, that purchase of 200 pieces of bamboo, but they're in the process of cutting them. So uh, I'm going to spend a half day in the morning moving whatever they have cut. And uh, the rest of the men are going to stay here and help Tatai. So Tatai will have uh, Nerio and whoever else. Oh, that dog just walked through the fence down there. We're going to have to fix that. Uh, so Tata's going to have a few extra men tomorrow. We're going to fix this. Uh, just gave him the money for the extra hollow blocks and some uh, form bar. So this is going to be repaired tomorrow. And I don't know if he's going to have enough men to have enough time to fix the, the stepping bath, the water, the foot wash, the foot bath. I don't like it can't uh, figure out what I'm trying to say. I don't know if he's going to have enough time to get that finished tomorrow in a half day or not, but uh, that's on the list. White, get out of here. Go on. No, don't come in, Twinkie. White, go ask. White, go ask. Come here, White. White, come on. Come here. I guess I'm gonna have to go out so she or she won't come with me. Come on, White. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. You stay out there. There's nothing in here for you to eat. Tata has this fence up, this gate in, but doesn't have a a latch here on this side, and actually doesn't have the the uh, hinges in on this side either. Something else for him to do tomorrow. This little crew here is doing just fine. Let me check on this new litter down here. This end of the piggery seems a bit dark. How you doing, Mama? I don't want to scare you or sneak up on you or nothing. How you doing? Hmm? How you doing, Mama? This is a really good mom. She had the first litter she had, I think this was one of the sows that had her little piglets that surprised us and had her piglets on a cement floor in the middle of the night when it was raining. Uh, a totally ill-prepared pen. Uh, she had 10 or 11. I can't remember. She had a lot and she never lost any. She was just a great mom. She raised them all on that cement floor. And that was one of the reasons that we kept one of her, one of the females from her litter, a little gilt. That's one of the reasons that we saved one, because mothering is uh, passed down uh, through mothers. That little piglet right there is tiny. That little rut right there. It's dark now. It's not going to focus in. But she still has all 13, and they're all doing well. She's a good mom. What are you doing, huh? Yeah. We we'll go around here. Check on the, the sow with the boil. You guys are all in a nice little pile here. 
Check on that sow with the boil and the nervous pig. You know, she's still... She still is just hanging out by the gate. Wanting to be out. And I just don't know what else I can do for her. The only other thing that I could do, and I've thought about it in the last couple days, is put another sow in here with her. But it's, it might take a few sows to to uh, find a pair that can get along. You're turning into a pain in the butt. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. I'm trying to keep you happy. Yeah. But well, you're a nice pig. That's why I'm messing with you. Yeah. Anybody else, I'd just leave them. Just not worry about it. No. Yeah, but you're, since you're a pretty good pig, I want to try to make you happy. Yeah. I've got a lot of stuff to do tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to go down to the to the doctors tomorrow. Uh, this is the cell with the boil here. As you can see, it's gone way down. Uh, it's basically quit draining. It's still draining a bit. It's still it's still a boil, but hopefully in a month or so it'll be completely healed, and uh, it'll just be a memory. But it's getting much better. Right? Yeah. Yeah, it'll be nice to get all these gates finished. I'm going to go down tomorrow to the doctor. I know that I have to. I'm going to go... Uh, hi, Petunia. How you doing, honey? What you doing? Huh? What's going on? Hmm? Did you miss me? Yeah, I missed you. Is there any leaf within range here? I'm going to go down. I've got a name of a surgeon uh, who's actually supposed to be pretty good at the local hospital here. And I'm going to go down and talk to him. Because I did tear the muscle in my bicep. I, I tore it away uh, from the bone, I would imagine. Uh, so I don't think it's something that's going to heal on its own. Uh, I don't even know if you could see I can pull my shirt back here uh, give you a, a perspective probably should even do this in the light this is my right arm uh, that's the way the bicep looks you know from the elbow on the bicep see it's pretty much a straight line and that's what it looks like right so when you look at the, my left arm the one that I tore the muscle in uh, you can see there's a big gap there. There's like a dent. And all the muscle is up here uh, in a pile next to my armpit. So I've torn that muscle. Uh, I don't it didn't it didn't tear it all the way in two, but it tore it somehow. And so I'm gonna go down to the doctor tomorrow and see get a get an opinion. I'm pretty sure that the only way to fix it would be to have surgery and have them pull it back down, pull it into place, and and stitch it. And to me, that sounds like something that would take a long time to heal. That's why I've, I've been putting it off for a week. I really don't want to be out of commission for a month or two. But you got to do what you got to do. So... Projects galore, and have to tie, have to get time, have to fill, have to make some time to go to the doctor and get what I'm pretty sure is going to be news that I don't want to hear. Check on this crew here. All these little fattening pigs. They're all doing good.
I'm really focusing right now on getting that fish pen done and getting Tatai's Tatai uh, caught up on what he's got going on here. Uh, the gate's finished, the bamboo gate finished, the uh, step bath finished, and then, you know, I want to get a few more little maintenance on the walls, get all that done so that he doesn't have to worry about that anymore and get it done. So we can focus on this last, for now, uh, fattening pin that's going to go in right here. These guys here are growing like gangbusters. They're turning into pretty good sized pigs. We've got another two and a half months of feeding these uh, before they get to market weight. We have 100 kilos or so, 90 to 100. Uh, there's a good many of these in here that would go 30 kilos plus now. Uh, they're only going to eat more and more and more as the days go by, but they're growing, so that's all good. But the reason that we need to get the, the next uh, fattening pin finished is that we've got about 20 piglets over there that uh, need a place to go when they're weaned in the next week or 10 days. And there's already too many piglets in here and there, this one's okay for right now but in two weeks as these piglets begin to grow uh, they'll be too crowded as well so uh, in all actuality we need two more fattening pins we need one there and then another large one there but I don't know if our budget is gonna I don't know if we have enough budget for that next month we'll see but we have enough, at least enough to make one and one is uh, an important goal looks like someone's harvested some bananas there that must be the one that fell down on the other end of the pin so I'm, I'm hoping that that other fattening pen will be done in about another 10 days and we'll at least have these four and we can manage from there. We, we do still have a little bit of space left in here because we sold those sows to uh, Jason and Jen. So we, I think we've got six or seven empty, empty pens here which could be, you know, the larger farrowing pens in a pinch can be used for fattening pens, but not for, not for a long, long period of time. So we need to get one or two more completed. Always stuff going on. Hopefully the doctor won't, I, I'm almost sure that he's going to give me bad news, but hopefully not. Hopefully he'll say, nah, that, that muscle's going to creep back down there and you'll be completely healed up in, in a month but I don't have high hopes I'm thinking he's just gonna tell me now nah, we've got to detach it a little bit more and yank it down and staple it in place and put your arm in a sling and you'll be screwed for six weeks I'm hoping the conversation isn't gonna go like that but we'll see thank you everyone please like comment share and subscribe